What's up guys, it's your boy KBDX Tokyo back again with another video and we doing target runs today. So today in this video, I'm going to be going around all the targets in the Bronx showing you guys what it looks like to TCG hunt in the Bronx. So this target is located on Kingsbridge, around the Kingsbridge area and it's literally right across the street from the projects. So we in the hood. If you guys don't know, you guys should know. But yeah, this is what the projects looks like. I'm not sure if you guys know, but if you don't know, now you know. So yeah, we're going into the Target and we're going to see what kind of stuff they got in here. So usually with the Targets in the Bronx, it's a hit or miss situation. You either hit some good stuff or you don't hit nothing at all. So we're gonna see what they got it looks like they're a little light but we're gonna see we're gonna see there's a whole bunch of collectors in the bronx because i'm telling you guys usually the tcg area is just dead dead like like this like this i don't even want to flip the camera around because it's just it's just horrible how dead it is um, but yeah. All right, so this is what it looks like. I didn't want to flip the camera around because it's it's really depressing. It's really depressing. I mean, you got a, some sports stuff down here. I mean, I'm not really much of a sports guy, but I guess, right? Um, magic, we really don't care about magic. I'm pretty sure some of you guys out there like that. I'm pretty sure some of you guys out there. <laughs> and we got some little car up there, but other than that, man, all this shit is trash. Let's check the back, though. I ran into one of my friends. Damn, I'm so mad that I didn't even get that on camera. I should have just got that on camera, but I ran into one of my Xbox buddies, um, Godly. We've been playing Xbox with each other for fucking years, since high school. Oh, my God. Call of Duty. I've been a gunner. I've been a Call of Duty gunner. I have legit over 20 years of gun simulation stuck in this muscle memory but yeah don't i'm not i'm not one i'm not the one i'm not the one literally over 20 years of gun simulation stuck in this head muscle memory yeah i'm, I'm one of the best call of duty shooters out there i'm test me test me anyone want a 1v1 let me know i'm that boy i am that guy Every time we get to the collectible aisle, we always got to check out the pops. Even though I don't collect pops, still got to check out the pops. I'm not going to lie, these mid- Oh, oh, that's so fire. I think I want one of those. That's fire. It's like a little bitty pop with the Batmobile. That's fire. I want one of those. Uh, so we got some other collectible stuff the action figures i'm not really much of an action figure guy i don't like collecting toys just strictly tcg but we always check out what they got in the collectible aisle sometimes you know they have some hidden gems in here um but yeah some people like the horror stuff i'm not into all that shit we got more bitty pops over here though we got i like bitty pops i don't like regular pops but if it's bitty pops i can i can mess with that i can mess with the bitty pops it's looking like we strike out in the first target because i don't think they have any more tcg products i think that's it all they have in the front was just a couple blisters and that's it man but we can check out the legos oh there is a lego set that i want to get there is a Lego set that I want to get. This McLaren set is so fire. I already got this one, the AMG. They have one more left, um, but the AMG set is so fire. Like, I didn't even open it. I had to keep it sealed. But this McLaren set, oh, Jesus Christ. If you, I got two of these. I got two boxes of these because once these sell out and you can't find them anymore on shelves, prices is going to be ridiculous. That's... Fast and the Furious, Brian O'Connor. If you guys don't know about Lego, you definitely need to get onto the Lego. I've been a Lego collector for for a while now, for a while now. Even Rudy, even Rudy from Alpha Investments be collecting Lego, but he got the very expensive vintage Lego collections. 
and he's got like some stuff that are worth thousands thousands but yeah yo yo this is my guy you see you see yeah you famous now baby <laughs> shout out to my guy godly you feel me it's crazy when you go out and you do videos and then you run into someone that you know it's fire um but yeah man we're gonna make our way to the next target and uh yeah man shout out to my man's godly he gonna be hyped that he in the video he gonna be hyped all right so we just made it to the next location of the day which is the Target located at 161, and this is by Yankee Stadium. If you guys don't know about the Bronx, then you guys should know that 161 is basically around the Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, and uh, this is like a little shopping center, like an outside mall shopping center type of shit. And uh, yeah, so Target is on the top floor, if you guys can see that up there. And that's where we're going to go right now. So, yeah, man. If you guys like these types of videos, please hit that like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the boy. Because this is what I do. I take you guys around the Bronx to show you guys what it's like to TCG hunt in the Bronx. In the Bronx, New York, if you guys didn't know. So, what are we looking for? What are we hunting for in this video? 151. Obviously, 151 has been going crazy it's been flying off the shelves the prices on the secondary market has been going wild so yeah if we could find any 151 available that'd be a nice thing to pick up definitely trying to get some 151 um what else what else could we pick up i'm not sure i'm not sure but we'll see what they got in all stuff. right man so like i said in the bronx when you tcg hunting it's always a hit or miss situation. So it's either we gonna hit something or we gonna miss something. And I look, it looks like we missed something in this video because this shit is looking dead. Like dead, dead. Look at this. I, there's no point of me flipping the camera around because there's nothing here. I mean, we got some Larkana, we got some magic, but we don't want that shit. Nobody play that shit. I don't want that shit. So it's dead here. This is the second target so far. And like I said, man, it's always a hit or miss in the Bronx. Either we hitting something nice or we missing something nice. But we're going to check in the back and see if they got anything in the collectible aisle. It's the biggest TCG content creator located in the Bronx. So hit that subscribe. You already know. It's your boy. Okay, there's one thing that I see that the other target didn't have. And look at how amazing this thing is like it's it's mini pops they're mini pops but like in a whole in a whole set like look at this only at target so this is a target exclusive you could only find this product at target and this is basically like some of the stuff that i like to come see because like look at this you won't find this anywhere else it's a target exclusive we got Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, Raphael. We got April, Splinter, Shredder, uh, Rocksteady. And we got some more, man. We got some other stuff. These are cool. This, this is definitely a box that I would buy if I was a collector of pops and stuff. I mean, I collect a little bitty pops, but I just don't have room in my collection for this type of shit. So, yeah, let's keep on moving on. We got, what is this, Indiana Jones? I don't know what this is. I have no idea. But we got more mini pops. If I was to collect pops, like I said, it would be mini pops. I don't like, I don't like uh, regular pops. I don't like these pops. And of course, you know they got the jumbo, the jumbo pops. That's that shit I don't like. And that's that shit we don't like. Um, but I'm not gonna lie for a jumbo pop this one this one actually looks pretty fire other than that We just got you know some Action figures we got the Deadpool That one looks fire. All right, man. So we striked out with the second Second target of the day um, They ain't got no TCG cards no TCG cards here. No Pokemon We had a little bit of magic a little bit of Lorcana, but we don't fuck with none of that shit so 
it's time to go on to the next target of the day all right guys so we just made it to the final and the last target for today this is the target that's by dog's neck which is close to where i live at and um i'm not gonna lie i don't have i don't have much hopes for this target because they really never have anything so it might just be the same as the other targets but we're gonna see we're gonna see but the other targets they were dead they were there was nothing in those other targets in this target they usually have the tcg stuff in the front and from what it looks like it looks like it looks like we striked out on all three targets for today um let me turn the camera around all right man this is what we got here which is nothing we don't we don't have anything we got some Lorcana, you know we don't fuck with that we got digimon i like digimon but we don't really fuck with that either we got some ex battle decks i don't really play pokemon but i collect pokemon so we don't fuck with that either and that's all that's it that's all they got for today in the next episode of dragon ball seat shop yo r.i.p r.i.p to the narrator of dragon ball z you know that was a big a big show of mine when i was a kid but let's see what they got in the back all right guys so we just made it to the collectible aisle and i'm not gonna lie the collectible aisle oh, yo they got some new stuff here um so anyways the collectible aisle is is really really nice compared to the front um the front is dead obviously but the back, it looks like they got those new stocks of some new stuff. So I'm going to flip the camera around so you guys can get a better look. All right. So this is what I was actually looking at. This is why I got so excited. Look at this one. Only at Target. This is the Star Wars Bitty Pop Collection. Wow. This one's fire. The other one we saw was um, the Ninja Turtle one at the other Target. And this one is a Star Wars one. We got Luke Skywalker. We got Princess Leia. Leia, you know what I'm talking about. Han Solo, Chewbacca. We got Darth Vader. Come on, we got almost everyone here. This is fire. This is fire. I'm not gonna lie. Biddy Pop. Biddy Pop is amazing. I'm not gonna lie. The, this one, this right here. I think I should grab one, right? We should definitely grab one of these. I have to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta grab it. If we, we didn't find any Pokemon, but we found this, and I think, I think I'm gonna grab it because this is too far for me not to grab. We got the big, humongous, huge pops. Step that shit up, don't like. Oh, nah, this one's fire. This one's fire as well. So we got... We got Captain America, we got the War Machine, we got Thor, we got Hulk, we got Ultron, Vision, Loki, Nick Fury, Black Panther, Iron Man, Black Widow, and Hawkeye. Let's go. This one's fire. Only at Target. So these are Target exclusives. Damn, I could have got all three today and probably could have got the whole collection. Um, but yeah, you know. At least I got this. This one's fire. This is one's super fire. These are the regular pops. We don't really, you we don't really collect that. Let's let's move on. Let's move on from the pops. We got this. What in the creepy hell is going on with this guy? Yo, this that's creepy. That's creepy. I would never buy that. Um, but yeah, we got some more collectible stuff. Simpsons phone. We got The Nightmare Before Christmas, one of my favorite movies, definitely a classic. We got some Dragon Ball Z, like I said, RIP to the narrator of Dragon Ball Z. Definitely, definitely was a GOAT. Um, we just got action figures, man. We don't really collect action figures. I don't really play with toys or collect action figures, just, just, just cards, just TCG stuff. But yeah, this is everything. Oh, no. If my girlfriend sees this, she's going to shit herself. So basically, this is the castle, right? Harry Potter castle for the bitty pops. So you can display 
all your Harry Potter bitty pops in the fucking castle. That's fucking amazing. And then we got, uh, we got one for Batman. We got, we got one for the Batman. Oh, that's fire. So it's like a Batman sign where you can place your bitty pops with two exclusives. Ooh, okay. And then we got one for Star Wars as well. That's not, yo, bro. They really doing their thing. Bitty Pops is fire. I'm not gonna lie. Bitty Pops, Bitty Pops is fire. You guys gotta get on the Bitty Pops. I had to because it's just like, bro, they're little mini pops, like fire. It's just too fire. All right, let's see, let's see what they got. Let's see what they got. So you see, you could go, you could grab these Star Wars ones and then you can get the whole display to go with it. I was definitely looking at this. This is so fire. I mean, I said I don't play with toys, but I don't think Lego is considered a toy. Like when you really think about it, like a little kid can't put this shit together. Like <laughs> that is a fact. I don't think these count as toys technically, but I think we have most of all of these. Um, I really wanted the McLaren set. We should have got it at the other at the other spot but let's see what they got on the other side lego, lego is super fucking fire like look at this look at this you got dark vader with a little fucking mech you got one for, bro these shits is fire these are these are fire lego is fire i don't care what anyone says i don't care i i don't care what anyone says since we didn't find any pokemon we didn't find any tcg basically i'm gonna rack up on some candy to give away on halloween because it's it's halloween tomorrow and how does it look me being kbdx tokyo and not giving out candy to the community like come on i can't i can't i cannot do that packs you're getting your packs the okay. reason why we're getting candy is so he could give out packs all right, I didn't want to say that. I didn't want to tell you guys, but yes. So we are going to be making KBDX Custom Tokyo Halloween packs to give away with the candy. That's amazing. That's amazing. And it's also another great way to advertise KBDX Tokyo to the community and to everyone that lives around in my neighborhood. So And to get rid of both. And to get rid of bulk. <laughs> and, and and to get rid of bulk. Um, I'm not gonna lie, you know, I put some amazing cards in some of my mystery packs. But, you know, it's it's a hit or miss, you know. Let me rephrase that. We use bulk, but I'm not talking about the trash bulk that you can just throw in the garbage. I'm talking about bulk that I have, you know, cards that I have extras of. That's what I mean when I say bulk. And, you know, obviously I throw some nice stuff in these mystery packs. And there's only one way for you guys to actually know. And that's if you get one. So, if you guys want some mystery packs, all you gotta do is just hit your boy up on the DM. And I'll be doing giveaways as well on the YouTube. So, you already know, man. You already know we out here. It's your boy KVDX Tokyo. I'm, I'm legit one of the biggest TCG content creators in the Bronx, like, yeah, and that's just a fact. That's just a fact. And usually, usually when I first started off in this YouTube shit, I would be like mad, embarrassed to walk in public and like make a video. But now I'm like, I'm that boy. Like, what you mean? Of course I'm gonna walk around and make a video. Um, but I do gotta get some cat food. We got candy to give away. It's Halloween tomorrow. So now we gotta get some cat food for my kitties. And yeah, I guess I guess since we ain't getting no TCG product today, you guys get to see me shop, I guess. You know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? We gotta get the kitty food. So we are back at the shop and unfortunately we striked out on all three targets today, but, but that doesn't mean we're not going to be opening any packs. So I should have some sealed product in one of my vending machines. So that's where we're going to go. We're going to go into my vending machine, which is in the shed, and we're going to see what kind of products we got in the vending machine 
that we can open in this video. So let's go see. All right, so we're running to the backyard. Well, we are in the backyard, technically, um, but this is the shed. It's fucking messy in there. It's messy in here. All right, we do have the Snapple machine, and then we do have the vending machine. And if you guys look down here, we should have packs and not only packs if you guys take a look these are mini tins i have mini tins in here um a whole case actually there's 10 in here um i didn't touch them so what we're gonna do is take them out and open them all right guys sorry for the fucking mess this shed is horrible but let's open this up let's open this baby Hey, what the fuck was that? Anyways, so these are the tins we're going to... So we're going to take two, two tins, and we got some MetaZoo packs, and we got some... Oh, we got Pokemon packs in there. We could, we could take some Pokemon packs. We're going to take a Scarlet, and we're going to take a Paldea. Nice. I forgot about those. All right, so we got packs to open. Let's go to the shop. All right, guys, so we are back at the shop with the few packs that we got from the vending machine. Thank God I had some few packs laying around, but let's just move into this. We got Scarlet and Violet base sets, and let's go, man. It wouldn't be a KBDX Tokyo video if I didn't open up some packs, man. And hopefully we get something good in this video. Um, I'm not going to lie, from the last few packs that I've opened, I've got some pretty pretty good hits got some pretty good hits so we got slow poke i believe this is paldea evolved and nothing nothing but this is what i really wanted to get into so we got what is this it's paldean fates so we got paldean fates mini tins we got two of them from the vending machine and yeah man, let's see we got that we got a sticker we don't want that we got some paldean fates i believe it's two packs per 10 and let's move on with the first pack i want that charizard man i want that charizard hopefully we can get that charizard come on let's get something Ooh, we got the shiny star you i could go with that i could go with that i'm cool with that shiny star you moving on to the second pack of paldea evolve I believe. Well, Podean Fates. Yeah, Podean Fates. Um, let's see. Ooh, I see something back there. We got something. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is what I'm talking about, man. I was getting good hits, man. This is a big card, I believe. This is definitely a big card. Yeah, it's got to be a big card, man. It's a 239 out of a 91 yeah this is a this is definitely a big card i don't know how much this is worth but i'll put it up on the screen but damn boy damn boy this shit is sexy oh my god yes all right let's put this to the side let's put this to the matter of fact let me get a sleep let me put it to the side for now let me put it to the side for now wow wow we got the mag mortar and that's it we're moving on to the second 10 wow that was an amazing amazing pull i'm not gonna lie i still want the charizard though. we're still looking for that charizard all right let's put this to the side we don't need this we don't need that we got one and two this is actually a nice pack opening i mean we striked out in all the targets today but we hit something nice like really nice all right so we got paul dane student lapras Let's go. Let's get something nice. Nothing nice. Nothing on that one. Last pack magic. Last pack magic. Hopefully we can get something nice. Hopefully. Come on. So let's do this. Let's just go through it regularly. We got the Woo Bat. We got the Fan P. We got the, the Denny. The Noi Bat. Ultra Ball. Swoo Bat. Clive. We got Reverse Hollow. Um, I don't know how to fucking say this guy's name. I don't know how to say his name. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna butcher it. 
We got a Woovat reverse hollow. And we're going to end it off with an executor full hollow. Sheesh. Sheesh. But we got this, baby. We got this, baby. Oh, my God. This thing is sexy. Sheesh. Wow. All right. If you guys like these types of videos, please hit that like button. Leave a comment. And subscribe to the boy if you want to show support. It's your boy, KBDX Tokyo. Let's go. Stay tuned for the next episode.